first of all, you know, people wonder when I get on stage, you know, what race is that guy anyway? Uh, my dad is from India and my mom is from Japan. I let that sink in. <laughs> so I, uh, I get my sushi from 7-Eleven. I mean, the Ku Klux Klan came to my house and they left a burning question mark on my front lawn. <laughs> now, this might shock you, but before I was a comedian, I was actually a computer guy, worked for uh, Intel. When I applied for the job, they said, you're Indian and Japanese, you don't even have to interview. <laughs> Folks, this is a true story. I'm driving to Dulles Airport with my parents and we see these cows grazing in a field. So my dad says, now, there is a word that can have a lot of different meanings, graze. For example, a cow can graze. And I say, or you can be grazed by a bullet, especially if you're hanging out with Vice President Cheney. And then no lie, my mom says, or it's a kind of a donut. World politics, it's amazing what's going on in the world. You know, the Arab world, you've got protesting and, and the governments are shutting down the internet. And I was thinking, instead of shutting the internet down, they should just use AT&T. <laughs> Nobody would get reception, right? Chirp, chirp, chirp. Muammar Gaddafi has been the dictator of Libya for 40 years and he's never promoted himself to general. <laughs> Why is that? I mean, for 40 years he's been the same rank as a guy who invented KFC. <laughs> Unbelievable. Now, one of the benefits of my job is I do get to travel the world. It's fantastic, and I travel so much that I get to fly in first class, and I get to hang out in the lounge. Uh, so my life is a lot like George Clooney in Up in the Air, just without the sex. <laughs> I wanted to show you some of the uh, interesting pictures, some of the things that I have seen around the world. We'll start with the New York, of course. Uh, don't litter on the side of a trash truck, and I'm wondering... Well, then these guys wouldn't have any jobs if nobody let it, right? Huh? Now, we Asians are very stereotyped. People say that we eat cats, and I find that a very offensive stereotype. Uh, and yet in Los Angeles, I saw a restaurant called Kung Pao Kitty. <laughs> Asian eatery, yes. Performed in Tokyo. It was called uh, Kinky University was the name of the place, yes. So I guess they guarantee you a position when you graduate. <laughs> Not too dirty? <laughs> And finally, uh, I, I mean, I had to take a picture of this in, in my own hometown where I grew up, the George Bush Center for Intelligence. <laughs> Presidents are known for great quotes like four score and seven years ago. Uh, what's it going to be for George Bush? Uh, I was not aware of September 11th until September 11th. I was not aware of Hurricane Katrina until September 11th. In fact, Somebody asked me how I feel about Roe versus Wade. So I told him, look, if you're in New Orleans, row, wade, swim, <laughs> whatever you have to do to get out of there, because <laughs> we're not coming to help you. <laughs> now, these terrorists, we're going to get these folks, these perpetrators who have perpetrated uh, the perpetrations of these, of these crimes crimes against humanity and other people. <laughs> now the terrorists operate out of a worldwide network of bitter angry men. Losers who grow beards and make movies and call themselves Al Gore or Al Qaeda. <laughs> they asked Bill Clinton how he feels about current events and this is what he had to say. I have something I want to say to the American people. I'm going to say this again. I never had sex relations with that overbearing, overweight obnoxious publicity hound, Hillary Rodham Clinton. <laughs> now, I'm still working on the Obama impression. He's not as easy to do as Clinton or Bush, but uh, here goes. Now, huh, I look over here to the left, huh, and I look over here to the right, huh, but I never look straight in the camera because that would make my ears stick out even more. <laughs> now, my mom always says, instead of saying Barack Obama, she has problems with the L's and the R's, so she says Barack Obama. <laughs> I said, no, 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 Ma, you've got to say Barack Obama. She goes, no, that would be lacist. <laughs> and, and you saw Jesse Jackson crying when Obama won. I mean, I think part of it, he was thinking, oh, uh, that should have been me. If he were to run again, of course, it'd be all about racism. Why on the piano? 
of the 88 keys, of which 51 are white, but only 37 are black. Notice the white keys all together and touching each other. <laughs> but the black keys all separated by white keys. Why in the game of billiards is the object of the game for the white ball to knock the black ball off the table? And when the black ball is gone, the game is immediately over. The only game that is fair is bowling because the black ball gets to knock down 10 whiteies. And they all have red necks.